Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. This is going to be a quick one, I'm hoping. So this is my pearl mix and it's on a six by six tile because I'm testing. And you know me and my tiles and testing. Oh, oh, geez Louise. Go, 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 go. All right. So, I think about a year ago, two years ago, maybe, I did this thing called a splat pour. Splat pearl pour. <laughs> of course, because I love my pearls. All right, so, are we somewhat straight? I'm never straight. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little one ounce container and I'm going to put some of these brand new colors in them. This is Unicorn. This is, now this is um, Flamingo, but I put a little bit of red dye in it. And this is uh, Cosmo something, Cosmo something. Crescendo, not even close. <laughs> this is crescendo. So I'm going to put all of these in here. Now, do I want to put white in between? I'm not sure. Um, whatever is on the bottom is going to come out last. I, I want the, I know what I want. I want the blue first. We don't need a lot of paint because this is a very small canvas. Dirty pour now. Okay, here we go. This is this is so simple. That's it. Let me tilt that off. Oh, it's not working out the way I hoped. try this again. Yeah. Next time. You know what? I can just pour it right over it. Right? Because this does have the red dye in it. Oh, that'll be fun. So that'll be a shadow pour splat. So you can see the colors coming up. Okay. There we go. Now we're cooking. And then we're going to top it off with some Cell activator. I should have put this on the bottom as well. Oh, wow. Holy Toledo. That could develop yet too. Oh, who does this at three or four o'clock in the morning? Mom. 
All right. out real pretty though. Okay, so this time that's pretty cool. Ooh. I have to tilt it because there's too much paint on there. Dang it. I wanted to keep these beautiful pearls that are starting. starting to like the oh look at that what a beautiful composition my neighbors think I'm crazy you do realize that who's that lady talking to herself at five o'clock in the morning well it's 4 30 okay I love this So sometimes you just have to keep splatting until you find the composition you want. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh my God. I love it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm gonna torch it. Now these are all of the brand new colors. Unicorn, Crescendo, and Flamingo. Me lucky. Okay, one more, and that's it. See, this, it's freaking addictive. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I can't wait till these dry and they'll see all the shimmer. Oh my God, I love them. All right, so I like them both. Now, one last one and that's it. That's it, that's all. Yeah, that's what she always says. Clean this baby off. These are just three TLPs. That's it. Well, and the cell activator. Now we're gonna add the white cell activator. And another kitty cat. Cat food cans. All right, here we go. Off you go to the side. This is messy business. Okay, little cat filters too. These are little one ounce guys. I get them from Amazon. White cell activator. Cool. Um, what do we want on top? We want pink. Flamingo. And then blue. Oh, whatever happened to a little bit of paint? Jeez Louise. And I want the black on the bottom, which is kind of turning out on top. I just, oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, 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 look at that. How did that happen?
accomplished absolutely nothing. All right, so I can do this. Always a way to fix it, right? Thinking on my feet. Oh, that's still a little muddy. There. Very cool. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty in the morning. They're still developing too. Yeah, this is with the Shadow Pour Recipe. I mean, the Shadow Recipe for the pigments, which is a little different than, it's just adding Rit dye in coordinated colors, just to get that, you know what I'm talking about. I wanna do more. Okay, so this is the first one we did. You can see the colors coming through on the sides. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. I do want to do something to this. Oh, look at all the, the cells coming up. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. That's prettier. Oh, look at this. Oh, see how it's blending? Oh, oh tray cool. Tray cool. Okay, guys. So, here they are. And they didn't change much. So, but, uh, look. So that little green part there is part of the flamingo. Oh, it has like a green shift to it. And this is just gorgeous. I'm glad I've done, I did a splat pour. It gets any frustrations out that you might want to get out, you know? It looks like it, it's sparkling all the way over here. Holy crap. Pretty darn cool. There it is again, the flamingo. Oh, burr. It, I shouldn't say burr. I'm in Florida, right? Um, <laughs> it's just been like really beautiful. It's in the 60s at night. Ooh, geez. Oh. There is some serious sparkle to these. Oh, my goodness. Oh. oh. I'm going to love working with these. And you, too, can get these wonderful pigments at fluidart.co. It's fluid-art.co. Look at that. Oh my God, that's the question, Ooh, okay, so I'm like, obviously shivering. So, <laughs> in Florida, so I'm gonna let you go now. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. All right, guys, this is the dried results with no resin on it yet. Look at that, oh my goodness. And they did come through and there's some sparkle there too. Very cool, these colors. Oh, I'm in love. Yeah, this is way cool. And here's the next one. When I resin these up, oh my gosh.
they're gonna look so special. If anybody lives or is visiting in the Fort Lauderdale area, I am going to be at the Indie Craft Bazaar at Stash slash Backyard. Backyard, um, I think it's called America's Backyard, I'm not sure. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. So sparkly. And um, that'll be April 1st from 12 to 5. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. It's a pretty cool event. All right, please be safe and cre create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.